everyone, Miss China here. Welcome back for challenge day 26. We're gonna jump right into our mindfulness challenge. For our mindfulness challenge today, we are gonna practice deep breathing. You will need a stuffed animal, I got mine, and you're gonna to wanna to find a comfy spot somewhere on the floor. I'm just gonna choose right here so you can see me. Maybe I'll scoot over a little bit here. And you are going to put your stuffed animal on your belly, okay? And when you breathe in, I want you to think about filling your belly up with air so your stuffed animal should move up with your belly. So you'll breathe in, and you can see mine fill up with air. And then when you let the air out, the stuffed animal should go down. So, so you breathe in, and the stuffed animal goes up. Breathe out and the animal goes back to the ground. And we're gonna do this 10 times. Halfway, we have five more to go. Last one. So we just did 10. You can do more than 10, you can do less than 10. I would say for starting, 10 is a really good number to start with. Um, if you're ever struggling, really getting a deep breath, put a stuffed animal on your belly because you can feel it go up and down. So today when we were deep breathing, we focused a lot on being mindful of filling up our bellies. A lot of times when we take a deep breath, we just breathe in really quickly. And we don't focus so much on filling our bellies with that air. And it's when we fill our bellies with air that we truly start to let our body relax and move with our breath. So you wanna focus on filling your belly with air. So when you're breathing, laying on the ground, having the animal go up and then pushing it all out and having it go back down. Good job. For our social skills challenge today, we are going to talk about being polite. Do you have any idea what the word polite means? Polite means using your manners in an appropriate way. So what are some things that you do to be polite? Think of things you might say. I'll give you one example. If you want something from your mom, dad, or brother, sister, teacher, cousin, uncle, what's that word that you have to remember to say? It starts with a P. Please. So I want you to think of other words you might use to be polite. And then I also want you to think of some other things you might do to be polite. Now you can either talk about these things with somebody in your family or you can make a list and write them all out. For your creativity challenge today, I want you to make up your own story. And you have two choices for that. You can tell somebody the story that you make up. So you could tell a mom or a dad, grandma, grandpa, brother, sister, uncle, cousin, or you can make a video of yourself telling the story and share it with your teacher. 
And that's all for our challenges today. Thanks so much for joining me. Remember, if you're one of Miss China's students, make sure to take a picture or video and share it on either Google Classroom or Seesaw. If you're not one of Miss China's students, share it with your teacher anyways, because I'm sure they'd love to see it. I hope you have an awesome Monday, and I'll see you back here again tomorrow for Challenge Day 27.